Hi, my name is Nina Diaz. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I've been a musician for half of my life now. I started when I was 13, and I've been in a band that's toured all called Girl in a Coma that's toured over around the United States, it's gone overseas, and now I'm doing my solo project. And I'd like to just answer a couple questions to hopefully inspire some of you young Latinas out there and just young people in general who are starting off new careers on things you might think about while you're on your way to figuring yourself out. So to begin, when I found my voice, I, like I said, I'm a musician, I'm a singer, I'm a writer. So there's two different types of voices. Of course, it's my singing voice, but then there's the voice that makes you you. The voice when you're not on stage, the voice where you have to ask questions, where you have to say no, where you basically have your power. So those are the two voices that I feel like I've kind of been trying to really form a wholeness. I haven't got them both completely yet. You're always gonna keep learning and finding your voice, and your new voice, your new strengths. But when I first started singing, I was really little. You know, I just naturally liked it, but I was also very shy. So I spent a lot of time singing alone in my room. So those of you out there who are really shy and you, and you overthink what you're about to do, it happens to everybody. And the, the best thing you can do though, is to actually try. To actually, if you are thinking of the arts, something where you have to really put yourself out there, the best thing is to try. So with singing, I listened to a lot of artists that I like. I was in choir. Um, started band I was 13 and just the actually playing live shows helped me find my singing voice and you know when you're a teenager things can get kind of awkward you can kind of feel weird you're finding yourself you're finding new groups of friends and I was doing the same thing but I was also playing late night shows and going to school and falling asleep in first period but I had been going on tours and stuff so I had my fair share of troubles where I had no self-esteem at all, no confidence, and the odd thing though was I could perform on stage, but I didn't know who I was off of stage. I think only till now have I found my voice, voice, my off-stage voice, my proud to be a Latina voice, my proud to be a curvy woman voice, proud to be a woman in general voice, and what helped me find that was my sobriety, because I am a recovered uh, alcoholic and drug addict. Four years now I've been recovered, and that journey in itself has helped me realize that I don't need to feel like a victim anymore, and I don't need to be afraid to say no, and I don't need to be afraid to ask questions. So when it comes to that, I'm still in the process of finding my voice voice, and I hope that I always will continue to find my voice, because new things happen to you all the time that help you grow and change. And then, okay, what inspires you? What inspires me? All right. Well, there's lots of different things that inspire me. Again, for writing, Jeff Buckley inspires me, Bjork inspires me, Morrissey inspires me, PJ Harvey inspires me. There's all these artists that inspire me. And for a moment there, I was inspired by the tortured artist, you know, the Kurt Cobains, you know, the Gia's, you know, that li live this really out there kind of life, but that yet they feel really sad and scared inside, which is very cliche to say, but it does happen a lot with a lot of artists, especially front people. So I've been inspired by that, my fair share of darkness, but I have taken it, <laughs> but I have taken the darkness along with the light, learning from those artists that I've been inspired by, because you have to look at the end of their stories where things kind of got a little hectic, and you have to try to learn from that. Another thing that inspires me just as a person are other people like just normal people that I meet, you know. The way someone can, their energy can just kind of inspire you. So that's another thing I'm inspired by is just energy and really opening myself up to what's around me and not, like how I was talking about with your voice, not feeling like I have to be closed in. And also hopefully trying to help as many people as possible, that inspires me. Whether it be with drugs, alcohol, music, just trying to get out of bed, you know, I hope to inspire people as they inspire me the same exact thing. And then any advice for any young Latinos who want to get into the music industry? So my advice to you out there, the Latinas out there, any young person in general, but those, my Latinas out there, you're trying to get into the music industry, you're trying to get into the arts, 
painting, acting, but for me, the music industry, and you're starting, you're 12, you're 13, you're 14, you're in the age where, like I said earlier, you're overthinking things and you don't quite know who you are yet. The best advice I could give to you is to try to listen to your intuition as much as you can. Because as women, we have that naturally inside of us. And sometimes there's gonna be that voice in your head that tells you the most negative things, but you have to tell it to stop. You have to say stop. I haven't even tried this yet. Why are you putting me down? And you're doing it to yourself. So the best advice I could give is to try to control that little voice that comes in your head and just to put yourself out there. If you do something and you find you didn't feel quite comfortable doing it, then maybe that's not the thing for you. You know, playing with the big band, playing with two, one other person, playing completely solo. Like if it feels so wrong, don't make yourself do it, you know? But if you feel like there could be a chance that you can grow to like it, try again and try again because you will always learn a lesson from anything you feel like might have been a mistake it will actually become a lesson trust me I know there's lots of things I think back at it I'm like how did I do that how did I survive that but it's for now so I can tell you that you have to put yourself out there because you honestly never know what the ending will be until you try